open. Oh, wow. Yeah, I look rough in the morning. Ugh, I pretend to do my hair. So, mm, happy 2020, guys. Um, I did an example budget that I did on my, recorded on my QuickTime. So basically, what I showed you all was um, me completely restarting my budget. So I just created a 2020 um, full year budget. This isn't my real budget. It is a, not a rendition, but like how I get started. So I just go in and I add accounts. Usually I do linked because I link it to my actual bank account. I just did unlink because I didn't want to have to go through all the trouble of setting it up. Um, also, I, you know, just show you how you just go in, you can add, keep adding, keep adding uh, more and more accounts until you get the right amount. YNAB prefers that you have one checking account, one savings account, just to make everything streamlined. My thing is that it confuses me when I have everything all in one because I don't know how to budget for that. So dividing everything up into say my spending money, his spending money, and then our shared account makes it a lot easier for me. It also makes it easier as far as the savings accounts go. You don't have to have a lot of accounts. You can just have a nice streamlined account. Um, just go in and make the budget. YNAB gives you a nice little, all right, here are some budget ideas. But if you say need to add something into YNAB, you can easily add it. This is not an advertisement. This is not to sell you on it because you can do this on every dollar. You can do this on Mint. You can do this on Quicken. Um, any of those programs, you can actually do this. This is just something that I used in order to um, help me get in, you know, get my hands around all of our debt all of our cash, you know, and all that kind of stuff. The one downfall of YNAB is that it does not track your investments the way that other programs may track it. Because I know Quicken is able to track the progression of your investments. So it's able to track your gains, your losses, um, any buys and sales and things like that. YNAB only keeps track of a static dollar and it does not do ups and downs. So it's just like, hey, if I contribute to my 401k, it'll see that I contributed to my 401k. So um, just wanted to give you all just this brief synopsis of how you work in YNAB, how to go in, budget everything down to the dollar, create goals. Um, you can create like monthly goals, say I wanna achieve $500 in the account for the month, or if I want to, um, say create a budget there not a budget but a goal like I'm doing a 2020 for 2020 so two thousand twenty dollars for 2020 um you can go in and do that as well so you can go ahead and set that account set that goal and why now we'll keep track of that so there are benefits it does actually show you your net income your um, I'm trying to think of what else it shows it shows your expenses, it shows like what you spend all your money on, all that kind of stuff, depending on how you did your categories. My, like I said, my budget is very, very, very um, in the, I like to say in the weeds. So I like to see, okay, we spent money, but what did we spend it on exactly? So I sp I don't wanna see what I spent on hobbies. I wanna see what I spent at Starbucks. I wanna see what I spent at um, eating out with friends, going to the movies, that kind of stuff. I wanna get that granular into my budget and YNAB does allow you to do that. So does Mint, so does all the other ones. Um, so yeah, this is just, this was just a quick little update of how you can work YNAB. For me personally, like I said, my budget is very involved. So I will not be showing you all my budget as of yet because I had to build it over hours last night because I tried to do, um, you know, why not if you mess up, you can literally do a drop down menu that says make a fresh start and it will take everything that you've already set up and move it over 
to um, a new budget. Well, I did make a fresh start, but I wanted to change my budget this year because I wrote down in my notes. Y'all know I keep my trusty, trusty notebook here. I wrote down in my notes that I wanted to start a brand new budget. So I started from scratch. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. So yeah, 100% from scratch, started over completely. I started all over guys from like square one with this. I'm sorry about the weird lighting. It's because I am sitting in front of the window but it's blocked by my computers. And I've got actually three screens here. It's ridiculous guys. This is a, a lesson in excess. My husband really wants me to get into vlogging. So he is trying to set me up with the computer, the memory, and all the stuff, all the peripherals I would need to get everything going. So, <laughs> y'all, 2019 was bad, but 2020, I have got to step up my game. Anywho, yeah, started all over from scratch, guys. And when I started over from scratch, I um, literally had to build everything all over from the ground up. I have not even put everything into the budget categories or anything like that. But I will let you know that right now, let's see, as of today, student loans is going to go across my screen again. We are at $9,458.66. We had a double payment on the 31st of December because of the fact that today is New Year's. So yeah, if you all would like to check out YNAB, go ahead and check it out. I don't have a link on this computer because of the fact that... Um, this is a new computer and my old computer was so old it will not transfer over to this new computer so yeah i don't get anything anyway if you do use ynav um but i just wanted to give you all just a quick little shot of how that works and i am off to start my new year i have got my new happy planner with my 2020 goals in them oh that's my habit tracker this is my 2020 goals um, this is just a few of them and I will give you a close-up of that right over here as well as um, my three planners so why I have three planners you might ask I'll tell you one is for work one is my catch-all for everything that includes my bills, anything, any place I have to be, any place I have to go, appointments, all this stuff like that. And the third one is a wellness planner because I am working on self-care this year, trying to make sure that I am happier, living simpler, and just uh, enjoying life to the fullest. So uh, the third one is a lot about gratitude, your setting your intentions, and things like that. So I'm going to be tracking all of that in the third one. But that is my obsession. I am actually on a no buy for planners <laughs> right now because I have these three and a couple more that people have given me like uh, different journals and things like that. But yeah, I'm on a no buy right now and I, yeah, that's what I'm starting off the year with. So what are you all doing this new year day? Because it is January 1 that I'm doing this video. So hey guys, happy new year. Um. I am basically getting my budget into shape and ready for 2020. My actual goal name for my budget, my actual name of my budget for 2020 is 2020 Mastering uh, Money Mastering Year. So this is going to be the year that I'm going to master, conquer, and defeat this student loan, uh, student loan, and get all my stuff together get on my on, get on the right page and that we're going to be moving forward so until next time guys remember that the best type of wallet to have is always going to be a wealthy one peace